8th grade open up resources illustrative mathematics unit 4 lesson 8 how many solutions glossary term constant term in an expression like 3y plus 5 the number 5 is the constant term because it doesn't change when the variable y changes examples 2x plus 3 the 3 is the constant term 8 minus 4y the 8 is the constant term Number one, Lynn was looking at the equation. She said, I can tell right away that there are no solutions because on the left side, you will have 2x plus 12x and a bunch of constants. But you have just 14x on the right side. Do you agree with Lynn? Explain your reasoning. I agree with Lynn. There are no solutions because 14x plus 9848 minus 32 does not equal 14x. Number 2. Han was looking at the equation. He said, I can tell right away there are no solutions because on the left side you will have 6x plus 10x and a bunch of constants, but you have just 16x on the right side. Do you agree with Han? Explain your reasoning. If you perform all the operations, you'll figure out that Han is incorrect because 16x plus 0 equals 16x, and that's true for all values of x. Han is incorrect. Number 3. Decide whether each equation is true for all, one, or no values of x. A. 6x minus 4 equals negative 4 plus 6x. Since 6x minus 4 is the same as negative 4 plus 6x, this equation is true for all values of x. B. 4x minus 6 equals 4x plus 3. Since 4x minus 6 is never equal to 4x plus 3, this is true for no values of x. C. Negative 2x plus 4 equals negative 3x plus 4. When x is equal to 0, this is true. So this equation is true for one value of x. Number 4. Solve each of these equations. Explain or show your reasoning. 3 times x is 3x and 3 times negative 5 is negative 15. Bring down the equal sign and the 6 on the right hand side. Add 15 to both sides and you have 3x equals 21. To get the x alone you divide by 3. 3x divided by 3 equals 1x or x. And since we divided the left side by 3 we divide the right side by 3. 21 divided by 3 is 7. x equals 7. b. 2 times x minus 2 times 2 thirds equals 0. 2 times x is 2x. 2 times negative 2 thirds is negative 4 thirds. Bring down the equal sign and the 0 on the right. Add 4 thirds to both sides of the equal sign and you'll have 2x equals 4 thirds. To get the x by itself, we'll have to divide by 2. 2x divided by 2 equals 1x or x. Since we divided the left side by 2, we have to divide the right side by 2. And 4 thirds divided by 2 equals 4 sixths, which is equivalent to 2 thirds. x equals 2 thirds. C. 4x minus 5 equals 2 minus x. I'm going to get the x's on one side. So on the right hand side, I'm going to add 1x to get rid of the negative x. And on the left hand side, I also have to add 1x. And 4x plus x equals 5x. Now the equation reads 5x minus 5 equals 2. I need to get rid of the negative 5, so I'm going to add 5 to the left side. And then I'm going to add 5 to the right side. Now the equation reads 5x equals 7. I'm almost done. I need to divide the 5x by 5 to make it 1x or x. And then I have to divide the right hand side by 5. 7 divided by 5 equals 7 fifths or 1 and 2 fifths. x equals 7 fifths or x equals 1 and 2 fifths. 
Number five, the points negative two and zero and zero and negative six are each on the graph of a linear equation. Is two and six also on the graph of this linear equation? Explain your reasoning. All three of these points together would not make a straight line. Here's a look at the line that the first two sets of points create. As you can see, the points 2 and 6 would not land on that line. Points 2 and 6 are not on the graph of the linear equation that points negative 2 and 0 and 0 and negative 6 are on. Number 6. In the picture, triangle A prime, B prime, C prime is an image of triangle ABC after a rotation. The center of rotation is E. A. What is the length of side AB? Explain how you know. The length of side AB is the same as the length of side A prime B prime, and since A prime B prime's length is 9, or 9 units, then the length for side AB will also be 9 units. B. What is the measure of angle D prime? Explain how you know. Well, since the angle for D prime will be the same as the angle for D, and the angle for D is 45 degrees, the angle for D prime will also be 45 degrees. 